We can turn our Windows Server into a router rather than using a physical router to route from one subnet to another. So as we see on the right hand side, we have a 192.168.2 network. And on the left, we have a 192.168.21 network. And what I want to do is I want to route from .2 to the 21 network. And we can do that by making sure we have two network interface cards on our Windows Server and enabling the remote access role. I enable the remote access role on my Windows Server by going to Add Roles and Features and then just checking the box for remote access as you see here and choosing all the defaults. After that installed, I can then go to Tools and then Routing and Remote Access. And we can see that Routing and Remote Access is installed, but it's not yet configured and the service is turned off. So all I need to do is to right click and choose to configure and enable routing and remote access and go through our wizard. Now, none of these default options are what I want. I want to click on custom configuration, click next and choose LAN routing. I'll go ahead and click next and finish. If I go into the command prompt and type IP config, we can see I have the two network on one card and 21 on the other. Now I'm going to go to a client and I'm going to make sure I can ping across my router. I'm on a Windows 10 computer and I'll just do an IP config and we can see I'm at 2.2. .2. So I'll do a ping 192.168.21.193. And we're making it across the router. Now let's just do a trace route just to make sure that we're going the path that we think we are. And we can see the first hop is going to be the 2.1 network. And the second hop is going to be right over to our server at 21.193. So that is how we set up Windows Server as a router in case we need to set one up to route between two different subnets.